Hello friends, I welcome you to a new day. Jesus is Lord and his Lordship is forever. Can we just go ahead and appreciate him? Give him the glory, give him the praise. He spared your life to glorify him. He is our caregiver. Come on, go ahead and appreciate him. Open your mouth and glorify him. Give him glory. He is the way maker. He is the miracle worker. He is the promise keeper. He is our light in darkness. He is the captain of our destiny. Somebody help me love him. He is the king of glory. The God of wonders. Our shield and our buckler. Somebody go ahead. Worship him. Glorify him. Obstacle crusher is his name. Barrier breaker is his name. Miracle worker is his name. Powerful healer is his name. When he heals, he heals completely. He is the dependable God. Let every flesh on this global prayer altar give him glory, give him praise. Jehovah, we have come to mark attendance as people whom you have allowed to see a new day. Chai, we owe you a depth of gratitude. We worship you, we glorify you, we magnify you. The fool had said there is no God, but this morning we lift up our banners in the name of Jehovah to declare that you are God forever. You are the man of war, and beside you is no one else. Be magnified, be exalted above the heavens and the earth. Hallowed be your name, the general overseer of the entire universe. We bless you, we bow, we glorify you. For this far, you have helped us. We come with a heart filled with gratitude and to say a big thank you to you. Thank you for spirit praise daily devotional. Thank you for all you have done. And thank you for what you are doing. And thank you for what you shall yet do. We give you glory. We give you praise. We magnify you. Hallowed be your name. Sweet Holy Spirit, we welcome you in a new day. And we want to tell you we love you. Thank you, our God. Hallowed be the name of the Lord God Almighty. For we worship with thanksgiving. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we worship. Amen. This is Spirit Praise Daily Devotional. And Spirit Praise Daily Devotional comes your way every morning to build up your spiritual capacity and network. It comes as a daily dose to strengthen your spiritual cables and wires and to keep you aflame for God all day. Praise the Lord. Um, greetings to you in the name of Jesus. I I just want to appreciate Barrister Joy, the woman of God. Thank you for all that you are doing, Amen. And all across the prayer network, we thank God for the Spirit Praise Daily Devotional. And I understand that this is a a prayer platform that allows people to just come connect to prayer. I think it's a very laudable project and I congratulate you and all your team and those who connect from around the world. In the last one year, um, you've reached out to over 76,000 viewers or so. That's remarkable. Remarkable. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. The platform was uh, set up to really increase the flames of revival. I think it's a, it's, it's a platform that has come to give people who to know the Lord to connect. It is important that we help the nations to connect and to help people sustain their spiritual fire. Most times, you know, especially because of the busyness of the day and then the pandemic is suspended a lot of spiritual activities across different regions. So having platforms like this that help people to connect, I think is a very good project. I pray that um, you continue to stay true to the vision and that God will use it to bring salvation of souls, healings, miracles, testimonies, that people will love Jesus, they will know Him. This is really my desire and I believe that is a desire for all of uh, those who are connected. So let me encourage you all to connect to Barista Joyce platform and um, participate in the prayer, participate in the program and continue to lift Jesus, let people know that this is what God is doing in our life. 
Then at the same time, I also want to encourage you to pray for her and pray for the platform. Most times, people start platforms like this, and then it, it intends to be a well meaning spiritual platform, but eventually, either through laxity or through just deviation in visions, uh, eventually they do not leave out that vision. But I believe and I hope and pray that this is different. So I want to pray. Um, and speak a word of prayer and a prophetic blessing to this platform number one and then pray for the woman of god pray for the team and then pray for your global audience all who follow and then to encourage so let's pray we're going to pray for this platform that god would help them to find the flames of revival and spirit praise daily devotion father we thank you it's an honor to be used by you. The Lord, we thank you for Barrister Joy. Thank you for the woman of God. Thank you for her intention to see that the world is blessed through this prayer platform. Lord, I thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the last one year. You have helped people to connect. I believe people have been saved. People have been healed. People have been transformed. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that you will bless them. They desire to move to the next level of impact and lord i ask you by the power of the holy spirit that you will help them in the name of jesus christ let spirit praise daily devotional uh, let it rise to become one of the platforms that will really really be used by god to bless people i pray oh god that um, he will stay true to the vision he will help the woman of god and all who help her to pilot this vision and every other vision connected to uh, her global ministry, I pray that God will bless it in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, for all those who are part of this vision, all those who connect daily to pray, to sharpen their uh, spiritual senses, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will have testimonies. Holy Spirit, I commend your precious people to your ministry and the ministry of the world. Let it transform, let it build. Let it culture their understanding, may they understand spiritual things. And I rebuke everything that is not of God. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that you will only see the faithfulness of God. You will see the favor of God in the name of Jesus Christ. So one more time, let me encourage you, please connect with her. Pray for her and um, for Barista Joy. I pray that the Lord will bless you. Congratulations, happy anniversary. And I pray that you have many more decades of fulfilled impact. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Shalom. Let my worship rise. Let my worship rise. Let my worship rise. Good morning. And welcome to this beautiful morning. Some of you watching this video might be wondering why is this woman just singing and raising up her hands up? Uh, it's yet another time to praise and give thanks to God as Spirit Praise Devotional, Spirit Praise Daily Devotional will be two years by first May. It's a time to give God thanks for such a wonderful opportunity to be part of that family. Spirit Praise Daily Devotional is something you should not miss. You Once you key in, you connect to the heavens and your spirit will be lifted. And I don't know, but friends, you need to connect to this Spirit Praise Daily Devotional. Check us out on YouTube. Just subscribe. At Joy Bonaya Facebook, just search it, Spirit Praise Daily Devotional. Just click on subscribe. We will be celebrating our two years anniversary on Sunday, the 1st of May 2022. Please click, like, join, share, subscribe, invite your friends, take out time to listen to it, and God will bless you. Thank you. And see you on the other side. No matter what she is. 
Spirit Praise Daily Devotional presents his second anniversary. Venue Spirit Praise Daily Devotional YouTube channel. Date Sunday, the 1st of May 2022. Time 12 a.m. GMT. Invite your friends and family to subscribe, like, and join live. Follow Joy Obunaya on Facebook, Joy Obunaya Attorney Evangelist, or visit Pleasant Gathering website at www.pleasantgathering.org. For inquiries, call 0803 276 4958 or 0701 And our topic for today says, And the Lord blessed Obededom and his household. Bralagados. <laughs> Jana kalian darabagado shante regede de legedo sha zikete pe legede de lagado sha bragado Now friends let's do this song together is an old song I can hardly hear it being sung this time around but it's very simple so let's just do it together ha legede de lagado sha na kalian darabagado sha bragado I must walk the walk of him who sent me while he's there. For the night is calm when no one else will walk. Will you be ready to walk with Jesus any time, any day? He reward you when he come to take his bride away. Friends, let's do it again. I say I must walk the walk of him who sent me while he's there. For the night is come when no one else will walk. Will you be ready to walk with Jesus any time, any day? He will reward you when he come to take his bride away. He reward you when he come to take his bride away. <laughs> now for the last time, let's go. I say I must walk the walk of him who sent me while he's there. For the night is come when no one else will walk. Will you be ready to walk with Jesus any time, any day? He will reward you when he come to take his bride away. He reward you when he come to take his bride away. I say he will reward you, Abragado Shanda, when he come to take his bride away. Allegade de Lagadosh, Bragado Shanti de Gede Lagadosh, Abragadosh. This is SPDD, and I believe that somebody's already been blessed. Likete Pelegade de Lagadosh, Shanti de Gede Lagadosh. So, briefly this morning, we take our Bible reading from 2 Samuel chapter 6, verse 11. And the Bible says, And the ark of the Lord continued in the house of Obededon, the Gittite, three months, and the Lord blessed Obededon and all his household. Ah, this is one very interesting scripture that every child of God should get familiar with. Ah, now the ark of God was captured by the Philistines when they defeated the Israelites in battle. As a matter of fact, when the ark was captured, it was kept in the temple of Dagon, the god of the Philistines, for 70 years. So for 70 years, the ark of God was in the custody of the Philistines. Now it would interest you to know that the ark of God bears the name of the Lord God Almighty, who dwells between the cherubim. Kai. Of course, the ark was the symbol of the presence of the Holy God. So the Philistines decided to hijack the Ark of God. 
chai zine kananamos e krakatapa legede de lagadash you know what when the philistines couldn't manage the trouble of the ark of god in the temple of dagon they decided to be moving the ark of god from one city to another zene kananamos e krakatapa legedosha please follow me closely this morning because we are going somewhere zeketepe legede de legedosha so as they moved the ark from one place to another in fact at some point the ark was moved from Ebenezer to Ashdod, Kaliya Kagadaba Legedele Legedosha. As a matter of fact, anywhere the Philistines carry the act to, it will attract sickness, disease, trouble, ziketepe Legedosha. It will attract death and calamity. Zenekananamos Ekrakatapa Legedele Legedosha. In fact, any village they get to, the villagers will be so eager to get rid of the act of God before the arrival of another calamity. Chai, Zikete Pelegede de Lagados, these sad, sudden, mysterious occurrences continued until the Philistines were forced to return the ark to the Israelites to avoid further outbreak of diseases, terror, pandemic, Zikete Pelegede de Lagados, and other related troubling issues. Zenekananamos Ikra Katapa Legede de Legedosh. Now, when they got to Kija Jerim, the oxen carrying the ark stumbled, and Uza wanted to steady the ark. Kalia Kagadaba Legede de Legedosh. Friends, Uza wanted to help out, but in violation and breach of divine instruction. Kalian de Legede de Legedosh Ikra Katapa Legede de Legedosh. So God killed Uza instanta. Kalian de Legede de Legedosh. And the name of the place was changed to Peru. Rosa, ziketepe legede de legados, e krakatapa legede de legados. God killed Uza for touching the ark of God. Zenekananamos e krakatapa legede de legados. I said God killed Uza for touching the ark of God. Zeketia kagadaba legede de legados. When this happened, David got annoyed and decided not to take the ark into the city of David. Zenekananamos e krakatapa legede de Friends, at this point, everybody was already afraid. As nobody knows who was gonna be the next for another calamity. Zikete Pelegedosh, Malian Deregede Delegedosh. Friends, in the midst of this confusion, Zikete Pelegedosh, David and his men decided to abandon the ark in Obededom's place. Zinekananamos Ikra Katapa Legede Delegedosh. Because nobody wanted to be the next on the death row. Kalia Kagadaba Legede Delegedosh. So the ark rested in Obededom's house for three months. I said the ark rested in Obededom's house for three months as we read from our text and while the ark was resting in his house the lord blessed obededom and his household Kai zeketepe legede de legados hallelujah zenekananamos ekra katapa legede de legados friends that is to say there was no signs of sickness nor diseases nor calamity as earlier on recorded zeketepe legede de legados it may interest you to know that why the ark was in obededom's house his story changed how i pray that someone on the line will allow the present ark of covenant to tabernacle in your house in this new season holy spirit please grasp someone on the line and understanding of what you are saying this morning so why the ark rested in his house the blessings of god became excess not just for obededom alone but for his entire household friends as the ark was resting in obededom's house means the divine presence of God rested for three consecutive months in the house of brother Obededom. Zeketepe Legedosha. Now hear this. Can I let you know that there are certain things you will do for God today? Certain sacrifices you will make for the kingdom that you and your family can enjoy the dividend not just for a period of three months but for a lifetime. Zeketepe Legedede Legedosha. Legedede Legedosha. What I just said is a dose for someone on the line so don't strive with god i just heard him say that to you as a matter of fact obededom decided to take a life risk he decided to make a major sacrifice if i die i die but i'm not gonna push out the ark did he die no rather he was blessed 
it's so sad to know that so many believers today are not prepared to inconvenience themselves for the sake of the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and for the kingdom's sake. Some are busy investing their resources on certain mundane things that cannot boost their credit upstairs rather than investing their resources in the work of evangelism and pure kingdom projects. I believe that God is speaking to someone on the line. Brother Obededom accommodated the ark despite the ugly situations surrounding the ark. In fact, if you read 2 Samuel chapters 5 and 6, you will discover that two major sad events happened. Number one, Oza died at Perusa. Number two, David's wife became barren for life. Both cases were relating to the ark. Kalian Kai. Friends, yet Obededom decided to take the risk to harbor the ark of God. Now permit me to say at this point that most often the ark of God may not rest in your tabernacle until the risk is taken. You can quote me. Of course you know the ark was an indispensable factor as far as the Israelites were consigned. Why did I say so? 40 years in the wilderness. The ark guided them. As a matter of fact, they did didn't go anywhere or do anything without the act leading the way to buttress what I have just said follow me to numbers 10 verse 33 and I read and the Bible says and they departed from the mount of the Lord three days journey and the ark of the covenant of the Lord went before them in the three days journey to search out a resting place for them Kai. In fact, this will be a message for another day. So friends, the ark rested in Obedidom's house for three months. That's for 90 days. And the Lord blessed Obedidom and his household. Listen to me. When the Bible says a man is blessed, just know of a shorty. The man has been torn into a generational blessing. In fact, if you read the whole of chapter 6, you will notice that the blessing of brother Obededom attracted envy to the extent that the king sent for the ark to be returned into Jerusalem. Never forget that this was the ark that everybody was running away from. So Obededom's case was that of a blessing in disguise. Now, as I conclude, I have this quick song that is popping up in my spirit man, and I want to release it. I want to ask you, what do you think would have happened if Obededom had evaded hosting the ark of God? Don't be in a haste to respond. Ponder before you respond. Now, as we conclude, I said as we conclude, I came this morning to encourage someone on the line to make room for the act of God in your life. Even in your house. Why did I say so? Because to make room for the act of God is to make room for his blessings. To make room for the ark of God is to make room for God's presence. As a matter of fact, what made the distinction between Obededom and the people that lived in his generation was the presence of God, as the ark signifies God's presence. And hear me, friends, in this great season, the presence of God still makes the difference. I said, the presence of God still makes the difference. 
zikete pe legede de legados e krakata pa legede de legados that will be a message for another day kalian de legede de legado e krakata pa legedos so friends the ark represent the strength and the splendor of jehovah kalia kagada ba legede de legado e krakata pa legede de legados so i came this morning to challenge someone on the line to make room for the ark of god make room for the ark of god in your home zenekananamos e krakata pa legede de legados make room for the ark of god in your resources zekete pe legede de legados e krakata pa legede legados i said make room for the ark of god in your life and what god change your story not just for three months i said not just for three months but for a lifetime zekete pe legede de legados e krakata pa legede de legados i said you will experience a turn around for a lifetime and if that is you make your amen bigger from the other side amen let us pray now hear me someone on the line the key to your enjoying god's blessings lies in your making peace with god no shortcut to the way of salvation i say that again to you no shortcut to the way of salvation for the bible says there is no peace with the wicked in matthew 15 verse 26 jesus said it is not right to take the children's bread and cast it to the dogs these blessings i'm talking about uh, for the in-house members and not for outsiders. But the Bible said for outside the gates are the dogs. Zeketepe legedosh. So I quickly invite you to come to Jesus today and register why the offer lasts. Now quickly say after me. If you are a backslider, please I encourage you to join them. Say after me. My Father in heaven, I come to you today. I'm a sinner. Lord Jesus, please pardon me. Please forgive me. Please write my name in the book of life and cancel my name from the book of death and give me the grace and the power to be a child of God. From today, I will live for you. No going back. Say it as you mean it. No going back. Thank you, my Father, for hearing our prayers. For we prayed in Jesus Christ's matchless name we prayed. Amen. And I declare and declare that this decision you have just taken shall forever remain permanent. No going back as we have prayed. So shall it be. In Jesus' matchless name we prayed. Amen. I say a big congratulations to everyone who has just made this prayer. And I encourage you to contact me with your name and where you connected from. The details on the screen. Now let's do this song together. If you know it, please join me. Mm, come and take your place, O oh God. Come and take your place, O oh God, in my life. Come and take your place in my life. Come and take your place. Come and take your place, O oh God. Come and take your place, O oh God, in my home. Come and take your place in my home come and take your place in my life come and take your place in my life come and take your place friends sing in my life come and take your place in my life come and take your place since let's go zikete pelegedos malian de 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 lagado e krakata palegede de lagado shikala garada da bra lagado shan de de bra legedo sine kenanamos e krakata palegedos zegede de lagado zikete pelegedos friends the act 
rested in the house of Obededon and he got blessed. Place a demand, oh Lord, capacity to make room for you in my heart, capacity to make room for you in my time, capacity to make room for you in my business, capacity to make room for you in my pocket. Somebody pray. Go in the Holy Ghost. Now hear this. Obededom did not allow the divine opportunity to pass him by. Somebody pray. Oh Lord, help me to maximize every divine opportunity. Somebody go in the Holy Ghost. No spiritual cable, no spiritual wire should be weak this morning. I said somebody pray. Make room for the ark of God in this great season in your life. In your family. In your resources. In your academic, in your career, change the spiritual atmosphere from where you are listening to this broadcast. Obedidom took the risk in his time, received capacity to take risk for the kingdom in this great season. I said, receive capacity to take risk for the kingdom of God in this great season. Obededom embrace the ark of God and live with the ark. I said he lived with the ark. Receive the capacity to live in God's presence in this season. I said receive capacity to live in God's presence in this great season. I say go in the Holy Ghost. No spiritual wire should be weak. Somebody pray. It's a season of uncommon blessings. Pray. Obededom was blessed for three months. Hear me, child of God. In this kingdom age, you shall be blessed for life. I say go in the Holy Ghost. Thank you, our Father. Thank you for SPDD. We say thank you for these 364 days. Thank you for all you've done for us. Thank you for your faithfulness. Nothing else would have brought us this far except the faithfulness of Elohim. Our Father be magnified. We are super grateful. Thank you for the divine atmosphere we have enjoyed in this past 365 days. We are grateful. We are grateful. We owe it all to you, Jehovah. Like the one leopard that returned. Like the one 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 that returned. By our own strength, Kalian de Regede de Legado, Shante Regede de Legado, you did it for us. Ziketepe, Legede de Legado, Ekra Katapa, Legede de Legado, I said you did it all. Ziketepe, Legede de Legado, Shante Regede de Legado, thanks 
thanksgiving is the ringing tune in our hearts in this great season. Be thou exalted, our God. Eternity will not be enough to appreciate you. May we have come to say thank you. Thank you for your help. Thank you for your support. We say a big thank you. All of the glory belongs to you. Our hallelujah belongs to you, my God. Be glorified. For the salvation we have witnessed on this global prayer altar. For the healings we have witnessed on this global prayer altar. For the revival we have witnessed on this global prayer altar. For the fire we have enjoyed on this global prayer altar. For all your blessings. For the spiritual growth. For changing our prayer lives. For open heavens. For the breakthroughs. Lord, we have come to return the times. Our mouths are filled with thanksgiving, my Father. Eternity will not be enough. To say it all. But this morning we ask you to have a thanksgiving from this global prayer platform. Be magnified, my Father. And blessed be the name of the Lord God Almighty. And I decree and declare to everyone who has listened to this broadcast that the blessings of Obededon shall tabernacle with you and your household. From now, even forever, in the matchless name of Jesus Christ, we prayed. Amen. Go rule your day in partnership with the Holy Spirit, with the Holy Spirit, with the Holy Spirit, with the Holy Spirit.